The pyramids in and around Giza have presented a fascinating puzzle for millennia. How did ancient Egyptians move limestone blocks, some weighing more than a ton, without using wheels? Why were these burial structures seemingly built in the remote and inhospitable desert? New research published in the journal Communications Earth and Environment offers a possible answer, providing new evidence that an extinct branch of the Nile River once weaved through the landscape in a much wetter climate. According to this study, dozens of Egyptian pyramids across a 40-mile long range rimmed the waterway, including the best-known complex in Giza. The waterway allowed workers to transport stone and other materials to build the monuments, according to the study. Raised causeways stretched out horizontally, connecting the pyramids to river ports along the Nile's bank. Drought, in combination with seismic activity that tilted the landscape, most likely caused the river to dry up over time and ultimately fill with silt, removing most traces of it. Researchers based their conclusions on data from satellites that send radar waves to penetrate the Earth's surface and detect hidden features. It also relied on sediment cores and maps from 1911 to uncover and trace the imprint of the ancient waterway. Such tools are helping environmental scientists map the ancient Nile, which is now covered by desert sand and agricultural fields. Experts have suspected for decades that boats transported workers and tools to build the pyramids. Some past research has put forward hypotheses similar to the new study. The new findings solidified the theory and map a much broader area. The mapping of the Nile's ancient channel system has been fragmented and isolated. Ancient Egyptians were using waterways for transportation more often than we thought. The study looks at 31 pyramids between Licht, a village south of Cairo, and Giza. They were constructed over roughly 1,000 years, beginning about 4,700 years ago. The pyramid complexes contained tombs for Egyptian royals. High officials were often buried nearby. Some of the granite blocks used to construct them were sourced from locations hundreds of miles south of their sites. In some cases, the blocks could be mammoths weighing several tons. This study suggested that wheels were not used to move the large blocks which is one reason researchers have long suspected the Egyptians moved materials by water. It's all sledges, water helps an awful lot. In the past, researchers have posited that the Egyptians might have carved canals to the pyramid sites. Canals and waterway systems have been in the consciousness for decades now. But newer theories suggest that the Nile was closer to the pyramids than researchers once thought. Archaeology has gotten more scientific, and you have ground-penetrating radar and satellite imagery. The findings suggest that millennia ago, the Egyptian climate was wetter overall, and the Nile carried a higher volume of water. It separated into multiple branches, one of which the researchers call it the Aramid branch, was about 40 miles long. The locations of the pyramid complexes included in the study correspond in time with estimates of the river branches location as water levels ebbed and flowed over centuries. In addition, several pyramid temples and causeways appear to line up horizontally with the ancient riverbed, which suggests that they were directly connected to the river and most likely used to transport building materials. The study builds on research from 322 which used ancient evidence of pollen grains from marsh species to suggest that a waterway once cut through the present-day desert. The new study shows that when the pyramids were built, the landscape was different from that we see today and shows how the ancient Egyptians could interact with their physical world and harness their environment to achieve their immense projects. Researchers explain in the study that the Aramad branch shifted eastward over time a process that might have been propelled by drought about 4,050 years ago. Then it gradually dissolved, only to be covered in silt. Scientists plan to expand their map and work to detect additional buried branches of the Nile floodplain. Determining the outline and shape of the ancient river branch 
could help researchers locate the remains of settlements or undiscovered sites before the areas get built over. Researchers said that housing almost goes right up to the edge of the Giza Plateau. Egypt is a vast outdoor museum and there's more to be discovered. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.